Okay then everyone, so I'm going to be starting off this tour with my favourite genus of tarantula, and that is of course the Brachypelma. Um, so yeah, let's just start over here with this one. We've got the lid open a little bit. And here is my um, female, uh, Brachypelma boemi. And uh, I think she's actually going to molt pretty soon. She's looking a little bit bold, don't know if you can see that. Only slightly though. Um, and yeah, she's a wonderful, wonderful spider. Just uh, a little bit skittish. Um, and loves kicking hairs. But other than that, she's absolutely beautiful. And um, you can see her enclosure. It's uh, dry over this side. A little bit of a very light spray over here because um, so I think she's going to molt anyway. Uh, but she's got a couple of hides. You can see she constructs things herself. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to try and spend kind of like, you know, under a minute on each one because otherwise this video is going to be even longer than what I thought, if that makes sense. Um, next up is this one. This one's beautiful, but um, I don't know if I'll be able to see her. What I'm going to do is I've got my tweezers and I'm actually going to swap hands. I'm going to very carefully see if I can try and get her out for you so you can see her. There she is. And this is my Bucky Palmer Classy. Again, a female. And uh, I don't really see this one, to be honest. She's always down in her little burrows and things. Um, but yeah, she's um, absolutely gorgeous. And again, looking at her abdomen, she's going to molt pretty soon. So I don't really want to disturb her, if I'm honest. But uh, yeah, stunning female. Absolutely beautiful. So I'll leave her now. She'll probably just dash off back underneath once I put this on. Yep. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, one of my favourites. And uh, this is my B. Smithy again. And this is a um, adult female. And uh, she hasn't molted now for three years. But uh, her abdomen is looking a little bit, bit patchy. So she may molt. And... Um, really docile specimen uh, really easy to handle and things and uh, she's one of the teas that I get out to demonstrate to people how wonderful these animals are and uh, yeah I'm not going to disturb her again she's stopped eating now so I think she's yeah, going into pre-malt so but uh, again very simple setup yeah I just kind of half fill them and uh, put, keep it nice and dry dry moss and things um, somewhere for them to hide and they're all good so I'll leave her alone and leave her to to chill out. Okay then, next up is my again female. Um I don't actually have any male brachies with the exception of my smaller slings. Um uh, female brachypalma albiceps. Um you can see my abdomen. Again, another one uh getting ready to molt. And uh, she's absolutely beautiful. She, uh, I literally keep her really, really simple. Uh, I did have some moss in there, but um, I've had to take it out. But I'm gonna be putting some more in. Um, but yeah, you know, simple hide. I did have a shallow water dish in there as well, which is just where she was. But I've had to take that out um, just for cleaning, you know. Um, and yeah, absolutely gorgeous female. I absolutely love her. Stunning. I'm going to leave her. You can see oh, most of my brackets are kept pretty simply, uh, with the exception of the next one actually, which is this is my favourite, um, my favourite bracky, um, as a species, you know. And as you can see, is moss and a bit of plants, and she's done a tunnel down here, and she's actually out. And this is my, uh, I'd say probably subadult female, uh, Brachypalma Amelia. And uh, you can just see how um, beautiful she is. She looks better if I have a light on, but my camera doesn't have a torch on it. So, but uh, yeah, she's stunning. You can see how bright her legs are. Again, um, starting to bald off a little bit and getting ready for a molt. She's normally down here, but uh, obviously I've just kind of got her down. She kind of disturbed her and shocked her up here. She had a little run. And uh, yeah, she's another spider that I get out to show people. How wonderful they are. She's just 
look at those colours. The camera doesn't do it justice. Let me try and focus for a second. Yeah. That looks a little bit better. Again, there's no torch on my camera or anything, so this is just is in the quite a dark room. Yeah, she's stunning. So I want to leave her, put the lid back on her very carefully. Okay then, the next adult, well, larger one, still quite small actually, is this one in here. Um, this one is actually a burrower, she's actually never out. Um, and this is my Brachypoma vegans. If I was trying to open this very carefully, you can see it just down there. Black abdomen, so she's going to molt. So I better leave her alone. Don't want to disturb her. But yeah, um, she's quite small, but nice big enclosure. Uh, plenty of room to grow and burrow and things. Um, I would like to show you a bit more, but she's just like um, she doesn't really have that much colour at the moment. Like I said, she's in very heavy pre molt. Uh, I got these two. These are my two smallest uh, brackies, uh, and this one is my Brachypalma abapalosum. If I can take the lid off, it seems to be stuck. There he is. So yeah, I, I believe this one's a male. Kicking hairs, and uh, you can see again, very very heavy pre mold So I'm not going to be bothering this one, but uh, I think this is a male. But I'll probably be able to tell better next uh, mold. So I'm going to leave that one alone. She uh, kicks hairs at me all the time, this spider does. I have to walk past the enclosure and she uh, kicks. Um, and in here, this is another one of my favourites actually, is my um, Bucky Palmer Carlenbergie. And uh, unfortunately, it's not out. I'm going to try it and get her out there. So, uh, Give me a second. Okay, and here she is. This is a female, Blacky Palmer Carlenbergi. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful spider. Um, you can see black carapace with uh, a bit of red around the outside. Jet black legs like a G. Porcra, and a bright red abdomen like a B. Vagans. Uh, absolutely stunning species. If you can get hold of these guys, I would highly recommend it. They are very rare to come across. Um, very rare species, um, very slow growing, but if you can buy them as a sling and hold out for a couple of years for them to grow, um, even to this size, is absolutely worth it. Look, I mean, just, well, just stunning. This is another one of my favourites. And uh, she wasn't too happy to come out, I had to kind of very carefully coax her out, but um, she's just gorgeous. Right then, well that's the end of the brackies. Uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to take a photo of her because I'd never see her, so make the most of it. And then I'm going to go on to the next genus. Okay then, I figured as well because I'd never get footage of this spider because it's always in his burrow, I would feed it. So I've only got a little uh, tiny mealworm for it, uh, sorry, waxworm. But uh, yeah, hopefully you can get some footage of it as well. Here we go. Very gentle takedown. I probably could have saved that and put it in with a feeding video, but uh, she's never out, and I don't want to keep disturbing her. So there you go, guys. A bit of a feeding as well. <laughs> and before I um do uh, go on to the next genus, I wanted to say a big thank you to um a good friend of mine. Now, uh, okay down here now um, yeah so basically uh, not all of these um, but the um, the uh, B. Boemi uh, classy uh, Albiceps and Amelia uh, these four spiders were actually given to me uh, God probably about three years ago by um, Alan Hicken I think I did a video of it, and if I can find the actual video on my old channel, I will put a link in the uh, description or annotation, kind of, uh, 
where my hand is. I've got an annotation. And, um, yeah, basically he gave me all these slings. It's like tiny, tiny little spiders. Like literally, you know, um, half a centimetre. And um, he gave them me because he didn't want them. No, no charge. I went, picked them up from his house and just gave them to me. Um, and so a few years later, um, obviously you've seen what they look like. So, uh, yeah, just want to thank Alan Hicken. Um, again, I'll, I will put a link to his channel. So click here and you can uh, go and check him out. Click on the link and um, yeah, subscribe to him and just want to thank him uh, for giving me those awesome spiders. They're four absolutely stunning spiders and all four of them are female, which was just a really lucky dip. I don't think I'd have the luck look again. So uh, yeah, right then, let's go on to the next genus. Okay then, uh, here's a look at my uh, adult female Brachypelma uh, a buffalosum. Um, the only problem with this spider is uh, I don't see it. Uh, I can just see her just down there, but you can't worry about to pick it up. Um, and she is um, basically she's gravid, so I'm not going to be digging her out or anything like that. But um, yeah, she's down there somewhere. So uh, yeah, I can't really get a better look at her, but I will do a video of her in the future when I get a chance, if she ever comes out or if I pull the egg sack, you know, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, there's a look at her anyway. Well, kind of. <laughs> okay then, um, let's carry on. Okay then, so uh, look at some smaller spiders now. Uh, this is Lindsay. And Sterling, after my favourite musician. Uh, these are my two uh, Eupalastrus Campostratus. And um, this one, I believe, is out, or at least it was when I last looked. Okay, you might be able to just see the leg. Um, no, she's gone. Yeah, these are a tiny, tiny spider at the moment, but uh, these are one of my favourite species overall, and I would say. Uh, these are probably my number one most recommended spider for beginners. Um, lots of people go with the Chili Rose or um, Bia Bopolosum, but for me, uh, Ecamostratus, hands down. Um, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't see these a lot because they are really small at the moment, uh, probably just coming up to about a centimetre. Um, so I can't really show you any more than that, but uh, I have done a couple of videos of these in the past, and if I can find the, um, I'll go through them, and I'll show you. In fact, I might have a link um, on my older channel of my adult female that I had, so um, I will put an annotation um, around here uh, that you can look at to see the adult female back when I had her. She was gorgeous. So uh, yeah, that's a quick look at these. And I'm now gonna go on to some even smaller spiders. Okay then, so here's a look at my three Crypsodromus pure scale. Um, again, a pretty rare spider and not too uh, common. Um, I received uh, these three from Ray Gabriel back at the BTS last year. Um, I met up with him and uh, he gave me these three stunning little spiders for free, which is very kind of him. You can see there's one actually out, but even better, one's just molted. And uh, if I very carefully take the lid off, it's a bit hard with one. Yeah, can you see it? There you go. That's a freshly molted Crypsodromus pure skull doesn't look like it's grown at all. Uh, incredibly slow growing. Um, in case you're wondering how big these little vials are, these are two inches tall. And uh, probably, I don't know, maybe an inch across. And then you can get an idea of how big these spiders are. Absolutely tiny. So uh, yeah gonna leave these little guys alone um, they li that's what that's literally the best I've ever seen these um, but hopefully in the future in you know, a week or so I can uh, these are probably all gonna molt anyway so I'll probably leave it for a week and I'll uh, check on them maybe do a feeding video of them who knows 
So uh, yeah, that's a look at my Crypsodromus Pure Skull. Okay then, so the next ge uh, genus we're going to cover is the Gramostola. A uh, fantastic genus of tarantula and I love all the species that are in it as well. So I'm going to start off with my female here. This is my G. rosea. And I'm not going to be um, bothering her too much because uh, as you can see from her abdomen she's in pretty heavy pre-molt. She hasn't eaten since I've had her so I'm going to uh, kind of leave her alone. But I will put a video up uh, just kind of here um, so you can have a look at... Uh, uh, when I had her out when I first had her so yeah I'll leave her alone like I said being in pre-malt I don't like disturbing them at all really so okay then next up is uh, one of two Gramostola pool cripes uh, these are my probably my favorite Gramostola if I can open this lid and I have two females this one is Olivia named after one of my nieces and uh, absolutely stunning female she's in pre -malt, as you can see but, uh, absolutely gorgeous gorgeous uh, specimen well the species in general is gorgeous but uh, this particular one is uh, gorgeous and I keep these really dry I give them a very light spray every now and again and uh, they seem to be fine you can see how dry this substrate is that's how they like it, as dry as possible. So yeah, that's my one female. Now on to the next one. Again, very, very dry. And uh, this female again uh, is in pre -malt. This one is called Scarlet, after my other niece. And there she is. So she could do a bit more substrate, but she's dug a bit deep. I could probably put maybe put a bit more substrate in. It's already about three inches, three, four inches, but when she next molts, and you can see how big she is, uh, as soon as she next molts, I'll be uh, redoing her enclosure anyway. Not redoing it, I'm going to just probably just pour some more uh, substrate on top of what she's already got so she can dig a little bit deeper. But yeah, there she is. Uh, one of my favourite teas. That's it. Don't really want to disturb her. And again, a couple of hides. I mean, you can see there how it's pretty deep. But uh, rather than going in there, she decides to just dig all that out. <laughs> we all know if you keep teas, you know that they are uh, little architects. You know they they do what they want. So you know. Okay then, and these are. One of the three. These are a lot smaller. And this one is my Gramostola pulchra. Um, don't know the sex of this one, to be honest. Um, it's not too big. And it's down. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it. Down there. Yeah, I was going to try and coax this, uh, coax her out, but uh, she ain't budging. <laughs> But uh, yeah, she's in there, and I will do a video on her when she next molts. Um, she's not too big, probably about inch, maybe inch and a half. So uh, yeah, that's unfortunately that's all you can see of her. But as she gets bigger and she starts coming out more and things like that, I will do more videos on her because um, they're a fantastic species, absolutely beautiful. Next up are my two other. Uh, Roseas. Um, sorry, my two other chilies. So, um, yeah, this is the Gromostola Rosea, which is the same as my adult female over there. This one's only a sling and is burrowed in there somewhere. I don't actually know where she is. I think she's got a burrow kind of down here. So, I won't be disturbing her. But uh, these are really small, uh, the smallest of them. And I've got another one here. This is the G Portery. And this one is actually out. I don't know if you can see her just there. These are literally, you know, tiny, tiny little slings. So I won't be uh, getting these out or anything like that. Um, and they don't need feeding, unfortunately. So, but um, yeah, I can't really do much more for these because of how small they are. But 
um, again as these two grow uh, as the factors or all, all three of these grow uh, I will be doing videos on them you know both videos and things and I wish this bloody sticker would stay down don't know why it's not yeah I will be doing more videos on all of them uh, as they molt so uh, so yeah that's a look at my grammar stola so I'm gonna put these away um, and then I will carry on with the uh, filming probably tomorrow okay then next up I'm gonna be looking at my Pocletheria uh, I absolutely love this genus uh, the variation in colors and patterns on them uh, and the fractural markings on them make them just absolutely stunning um, and I only have two species at the moment I have had more in the past but uh, I've sold a lot and uh, you know had mature males that have gone out and whatnot but um, I have two species which I'm going to show you um, so yeah okay then so there's these uh, I have five of these these are Pocletheria vitata uh, these are previously ca uh, called the Pocletheria pedicenni the ghost ornamental or the pedicens ornamental um, but they were reclassified so uh, you can see there's one here and you can see the uh, that wonderful marking on the abdomen. Uh, this is a female, <laughs> uh, one of three that I have, and uh, I know one of these is going to be sent off to a friend of mine, which is Lee Roberts. Um, and all of these slings are mine from breeding. I bred them a couple of years ago with uh, Ray Gabriel. Um, I took my mail to the BTS and he had it off for 50 50, and I had these. I think I had about 40 slings of these. Uh, give or take a couple so uh, yeah they were awesome um, fantastic little slings growing quite quickly these are probably about three and a half four inches and uh, yeah so that's the first one that's my female one of them I need to clean her out but uh, I don't like disturbing them to be honest I'll clean them out probably in the summer and these are all basically just molts uh, that I have uh, you can see some of them are in here Literally just full of malts that I keep for you know different purposes. Ah, here's the next one. Um, again, this is a little architect. He's just got dirt and stuff everywhere, but it's how he wants to live. This one is a male as well. Uh, it's how he wants to live, so I'll leave him to it. And uh, okay, he actually came out a little bit. And you can see him just down here. And. Um, yeah, um, I don't like dis disturbing these. I mean, I I have handled them. I've hand as you know, I handle everything. But uh, I don't like to handle uh, these really. I like to observe them and you know watch them do their thing. And they're fantastic to watch them web up and dig and stuff like that. And um, yeah, he's awesome. He's a really active one, especially at, at night. Every single night he comes out and he just chills up here. So. Um, I always enjoy watching him on nights if I can't sleep and things. I find him uh, quite therapeutic actually to just sit and watch him do his thing. Uh, not so relaxing to watch him take down food. In fact, it's quite disturbing because he's uh, really aggressive with his food. But you know. Um, so my next one again is a Pocletheria vitata. This is a much smaller enclosure, but um, it's fine for for them. And um, yeah. He is, uh, in fact this one's one of my females, um, you can't really see it to be honest, but this is um, this is the burrow kind of down here, or this area, and um, yeah she's down here, it's like a little bit of a hollow, and this is where she lives, so unfortunately I can't get her out, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm certainly not going to be digging her out, but she's in there, and uh, again, stunning female, so I'll put her down here. And then I have one more female to show you. This uh, two of these, uh, these two are really slow growing. I'm not sure why. But uh, oh, okay. Well, here's one of my females. Uh, this is in like a kind of a kind of a uh, coffee jar actually. Um, I don't know if you can see, but actually down here, let me see if I can bring it up a little bit. You might be able to see it. You can see the malt just there. So uh, that's pretty cool. That will explain why she hasn't eaten for a while. So I did put some food in, uh, which is just killed and left up here. So I'll be taking that out in a minute. Um, 
and uh, this is one that I really want to rehouse. She isn't. Uh, this is one that was I kept them as a colony, and this one was kind of bullied and actually lost a few legs. Um, I suppose through being grabbed and you know being cannibalised. So um, I removed her when she was she was really small. I suppose the other, the larger ones, which actually all of these ones, her siblings, were taking all the food and she wasn't growing. So I put her in here, and she's been in here ever since. But. Uh, yeah, she's lovely. One, of, she's actually one of my favourites uh, of mine that I have, and I will be um, rehousing her in uh, probably a week or so. Now I know that she has molted because I knew she was due anyway. So uh, yeah, I will do a rehousing video in the near future, everyone. Uh, my final Puglotheria vitata. Um, unfortunately, with this one, I never see it. Uh, the burrow is kind of one path down here another one down here and the burrow finishes down here i don't know if you can just see that you can actually just see the leg under my finger there um you can just see that that little line there is actually the leg but uh sh this one never comes out in fact i haven't seen it since i've rehoused it the only thing i see of this spider is when i put food in and uh, the food disappears <laughs> So, you know, but I mean, this one's a burrower. Uh, the other ones are more are more arboreal, I suppose. So, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. I I really love uh, pokies. I mean, if you've never owned one, I would highly recommend you get one. Um, and yeah, this is a P metallica. Now you might say it's a bit of a weird thing, but when I had it, um, the substrate was really really damp, and um, I put it in there and I. I didn't drill any more holes in there and it seemed to be all constantly full of condensation so I put this on top and it's just uh, you know airs it out nicely so I will be putting the lid back on it but uh, you can see the actual spider is up here you can just see that there by my thumb and this is a Pocletheria Metallica uh, my favourite P Metallica uh, a lot of people say that these are overrated and I kind of agree in a sense um, they are very overrated but not so much overrated but they're just a beautiful uh, specimen to own I think a lot of people are just jealous that they don't have them um, because you know they are probably the most expensive uh, pokey um, and at the moment I only have one uh, although as many of you know I haven't really spoke too much about it but I do have some more coming I um, if you remember I sent my mail uh, away for breeding I'll put a link around here to show you my mail um, but uh, yeah he went off a breeding and it was successful as I've said before and um, the egg sac contained originally it was 96 eggs um, although not all of them made it and then the numbers have kind of dwindled down from 96 because of the three larval stages um, most spiders only have two but the, uh, P the Pocletheri Metallica have three so uh, and obviously with some of the eggs not developing and then some of them you know not molting and stuff like that uh, we were left with I believe 34 is our number at the moment so I'll be getting at the moment as it stands there's about 17 P Metallica I'll be receiving in the uh, in the very near future uh, after their next molt so uh, that's pretty awesome and I'm looking forward to that. I means I will then have 18 P Metallica, and uh, you can call me greedy all you want. Uh, they are gorgeous. Um, some of them I will be giving away to a few friends who I've I know a few people who have never ever had a P Metallica and really want one but can't afford one or different things. And uh, so a few people I will be sending some to as a gift. Um, you know, YouTubers and things. And um, some of them, I the rest I'll be some from myself and the rest I'll be selling so uh, but yeah I'm looking forward to that and I will be doing a giveaway as well guys uh, I'm not going to talk about it too much now but in the very near future as soon as I've got them I will be um, doing a giveaway on my YouTube and I will be yeah sorting something out I'm not going to talk about it that's for the future <laughs> so that's a look at my P Metallica and my Pocotheria um, Vitata as well so um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these awesome spiders. I'm now going to be looking at 
I'm going to look at my Sama Paris because uh, she's gorgeous. So let's have a look at her, shall we? Okay then everyone, so this is a look at my Sama Paris Iromina, um, my adult female. Uh, one of the nastiest um, spiders I have in terms of temperament. Um, when I had her originally, she was quite a friendly little spider, but... Um, you know, I mean, she's not nasty as such, it's just a temperament, you know, it's just a species. But um, she's around here, I'm going to show you. She's been doing a lot of webbing recently, uh, leading me to think that she is actually going to be uh, molting pretty soon. To show you this very quickly. Um, so, yeah, and I might have actually found not only one, but possibly two mature males um, to breed with her. So, if she molts pretty soon, which by the looks of that, I think she is going to molt. Um, that would be awesome if I can, if she molts and then I can breed her. But uh, yeah, she's down here. And um, if you can see her down there, I would like to get her out, but unfortunately, she just doesn't, you know, um, well, she's just not a spider for getting out. Uh, I observe her in her enclosure, and that's it um, with this spider. I do enjoy feeding her, um, but she's now started refusing food, so yeah. Um, but what I'll do is because I don't have, I obviously I feel bad that you can't see what she looks like. I'm going to put a picture up, um, so you can just have a quick look at her and see how beautiful she is. And in the future, guys, I will do a video about her when she molts and, like I said, breeding and such and such. So uh, yeah, sorry that you don't get to see her so much, but uh, hopefully you will still enjoy the picture that I'll put up. Okay then, so I'll put it up, and we'll move on to the next genus. Okay then, so this is uh, going to be a pretty quick one. Uh, this is a look at my Pamphabetus platyama. And um, yeah, this spider is actually kind of under one of his leaves. And it has recently molted. I don't know if I did a video about that. I might have done. But um, the spider is just down here. Um, I'm going to do it very carefully. Just try and move this a little bit. So hopefully you can get a better look at it. Let's try and put that down there. There we go. This is only a small uh, sling at the moment. Put this back. That's pretty much back where it was. Um, yeah, I can't really say too much about this one because I don't really get it out. Um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful little spider at the moment. And obviously, as it gets bigger, I will do more videos on it because they are beautiful, beautiful species. So, uh, yeah, there's a quick look at my Pamphabetus Pajama. Okay, then, here's a look at my Avicularia species. Uh, I only have two at the moment, um, but I will be getting more. Um, in the future. In fact at the BTS um, I want to try and get quite a few different species of Avic um, and also Pokies as well. So um, but yeah here's a look at my Avicularia, Avicularia or a Avic. Um, yeah this is a mature male and um, he's going off for breeding hopefully pretty soon. Um, I'll just turn the enclosure around so you can see him. Um, this is where he is you can see him down here I'm not gonna get him out um, but um, he has done a sperm web and he's ready for breeding so like I said in the next uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks he will be off for breeding which would be really really exciting um, I'd love some Avic slings um, if you can see him a little bit better there you can see his little little pink toes <laughs> and yeah he's just gorgeous really is a fantastic uh, specimen really docile um, and just it's just a pleasure to keep and I have this one down here this is a much smaller avic um, in fact I'm not going to get it out but you can see just here by my finger you can just see the red of the clusteri and uh, from you can just see the end of the legs and this is an uh, avicularia versicolor um, only a sling uh, this is a female, I sexed uh, last molt, and um, 
she's a, another gorgeous spider that I will be doing a lot more updates on uh, when it gets a bit bigger. It's too small at the moment, uh, you know. It, in fact, she doesn't even come out on this place. She's always kind of down in a burrow. Um, obviously, due to her size, if she was in the wild, she'd be more prone to uh, you know predators and things. So she's nice and safe in there. But uh, yeah, uh, I will be getting some more a versicolor um, and some a diversipes uh, for definite at this year's BTS in May. So yeah looking forward to that so there's a quick look at them um, let's move on to the next genus well I'd love to keep filming but unfortunately it's getting too dark now so I'm going to have to continue filming this probably tomorrow if I have time right then let's wrap up for the day and continue filming tomorrow okay then everyone well I um had to leave this one originally because uh, she was in a burrow however I've just got back it's like it's about half past one in the morning and I was just about to turn off all my lights and you know get ready for bed and she's out which is awesome you can see uh, she's a lovely looking spider no egg sack yet I suppose she just came uh, came out to have a drink and uh, yeah so I thought I'd just get a quick, uh, quick video of her before I uh, get to bed. So yeah, I was quite lucky to uh, catch her out. So yeah, I'm going to leave her alone now. And I'm going to be continuing filming tomorrow. Um, probably going to carry on with my um, S calciatum. So yeah, I will continue in the morning guys. Okay then guys, so uh, continuing with where I left off, uh, this is my Stranopelma uh, calciatum and uh, unfortunately you can't really see it because it's down here in this bit of a like a tunnel um, and obviously I'm not going to go digging the spider out because uh, it's really really fast but um, yeah an update on this spider um, it molted about a week and a half two weeks ago um, when it has eaten since then um, I think I've got that um, footage for a feeding video that I'm working on as well so um, so yeah unfortunately I can't really get it out like I said I mean I don't know whether you can see it there or not so you can just see part of the leg um, but what, what I will do is um, I'll put an annotation up so that you can look at some footage of it uh, before so you can get an idea of what this particular species looks like um, if you've never seen it before so yeah, that's a quick look at that. I'm now going to continue with my um, HMAX. Okay then, so here's a look at my four Heteroscodra maculata. And uh, you can see how they're settling in. Uh, this one is in quite a nice bit of webbing, more the way around, uh, around the enclosure. I don't know how you'll be able to see it. Um, this one here, again another very active webber, webbed up everywhere pretty much, which is uh, good. Um, I haven't actually seen this spider since, if you remember I did a video, which uh, a rehousing video of this, uh, of all of these, when I put them into these enclosures, uh, I'll put an annotation up so you can check it out. And um, yeah, um, they aren't very big, so they probably won't be kind of a display tee just yet but uh, this one has done a burrow just down there if you can see that down the bottom right hand corner little black hole and uh, I think oops, this one again lots of webbing up all over the place I haven't seen these I pretty much put food in and then it disappears and uh, that's how I know that these are all all okay um, no I can't see this one at all either I, you know it's in there somewhere um, so yeah I can't really show you these particular spiders I mean they're not very big anyway and because they're quite small they've all burrowed down and are hiding in their you know in their little nests um, so I'm not going to disturb them but like I said I will put a video up so you can have a look at what they look like and um, I'll put a link up as well to um, 
I'll see if I can find another video on YouTube or something like that, uh, like a friend's video, and I'm sure they won't mind me putting an annotation to their video so you can check out what an adult looks like. They're gorgeous, gorgeous uh, spiders. So, uh, yeah, not really much to say about them, um, but nevertheless, you know. So uh, now I'll have a look at some more uh, baboon spiders. Hey everyone, so the next genus I'm going to be covering is the uh, Torino Chylus marinus. Um, so I have quite a few of here. Um, this is a female that I received a few weeks ago from uh, Transradict. And I'm a little bit disappointed because um, I put all these really cool little sticks and things in there thinking she webbed them up. And she hasn't, she's gone into under there. She's webbed it up, I don't know if you can see that. If I take the lid off you might better see a bit better. Completely webbed that up and um yeah i haven't seen her since so uh he did say that she'd probably be in pre-molt so i think that's what she's doing so hopefully when she comes out she will come out and web up and you know all will be well fingers crossed um so yeah and then here's a look at a colony i've got going this is a colony of about 30 tuina carlos marinas and um so far, so good. They're coexisting really, really well. I'm going to very carefully take off the lid just to try and show you a bit of a better look at them. Really strong silk. Um, and yeah, basically what I've been doing is I've been putting plenty of food in. Um, everything from some smaller mealworms, uh, waxworms, uh, small crickets. And um, yeah, I mean, they've been doing, they've got burrows all the way around. Uh, as you can see all these tiny little holes so yeah there's about th about 25 to 30 um, although it's really hard to count them actually um, because they were running around everywhere but um, yeah they've got loads of little burrows all over the place and um, they're doing really well at the moment so this will be fine um, I actually did this because there's a someone basically wanted a colony of them but obviously I don't normally keep them like this and so um, I said that I would keep them as a colony together and then when he bought them off me which he said he was going to do um, I would send them all together and he'd have the colony if that makes sense um, however and a little bit annoyingly um, he basically cancelled last week um, so I've basically risked keeping all of these together um, and he's not even having them now which is like I said it's a little bit annoying but um, it happens you know so I'll be I'll, I'll keep these for now as a colony and I don't know if anyone says oh I want you know a large number of them you know um, they can have these <laughs> um, but I don't mind feeding them you know I did literally get a handful of crickets drop them in there and they will just come out grab the food and they run off with them and they're gone in like a few seconds it's actually uh, really awesome to watch um, so yeah that's a colony and then I have here uh, three another 12 um, which are all awesome. Uh, some of these are obviously mine that I'm going to be keeping for myself. Uh, There's this one here, who's in Malt. Is uh, kind of webbed up. Even the enclosure is webbed up now. Um, so these four along here are mine, and so is this one in here. And the rest I'm still selling. I've got a few people on Facebook I still need to sell to. So, but um, yeah, if you're interested in one of these guys, uh, click on the link in the description uh, for my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Daniel Trancher Dan Oakley. And I'll be selling these for like a quid each. Seriously. <laughs> uh, just, you know, get you know sell them cheap. So, uh, yeah, if you would like one, you'd be more than welcome to have some. But um, let's see if there's any of these that's actually out so you can actually see them. Oh, okay, there is one. Here you go. You can see that one there. Getting pretty big. Uh, this is a... This is molted again. So, uh it's pretty awesome nice uh, nice little size there and uh, there's this one in here this one's got a bit of a bad leg actually I don't know if you can see, you won't be able to see it um, but that if you look there's actually a little like a white line that's actually a leg I think it's at, it's molted but it got a little bit stuck so the leg hasn't kind of developed properly but you know on this one here on a nice silk uh, mat he's done really awesome little webbers these are uh, this one's really impressive oops a daisy if you can see that all at the side awesome little architect and again same with this one okay so it's actually out so yeah and there's a look at them um, like I said they, are, they really are a fantastic little species to um, 
to have um, not so much for the beginner but if you want a bit of a challenge something that's going to you know show you some awesome little flip postures and things like that um, I honestly can't recommend these highly enough so uh, yeah that's a look at these and I'm now going to go on and look at some more baboon spiders okay then so uh, my final uh, baboon spiders to show you are these two um, is this this is an adult female and this is a um, a sling and these are Augustephalus ezendami um, yeah unfortunately I can't really say a lot about this one the female is down here I don't know if you can see down there but um, the hide is webbed up and I he did Chris did say to me when I brought her um, when I had her off him that uh, she was you know in pre-molt so I presume that she's just molting and um yeah i'm obviously not going to be digging out especially if she's molting but again i will put an annotation up on the screen so that you can look at um so you can look at her when i had her i'll put a link up um and yeah i mean she's gorgeous and if she does molt it would be absolutely uh fantastic It'd be really really awesome and uh, yeah, not really much else to say about that particular spider. Uh, and the sling is out and about though, kind of. It's in this smaller enclosure. I'll just see I've kind of part filled it with substrate. And um, you can see it's done a, if I can get the light, it's like loads and loads of web so, all the way around. And um, the actual spider is just down here. I'm going to very carefully try and take the lid off, see if I can get a better, absolutely, a better look at it. See it just down there. So again, this is another spider that I think will probably molt in the next few weeks. Uh, I fed it when I had it, and uh, I fed it uh, when I had it. Um, was it about a week, two weeks ago? and um, I tried to feed it again last week and it completely refused it so some more teas that are in pre-malt so uh, yeah that's them so I've just got a couple more to show you and then the video will be done so next up I'm going to show you uh, my two two spiders so let's uh, let's get them out okay then so look at my two true spiders uh, the one's actually eating, and uh, I didn't actually put this food in. Um, what I think it is, is I fed it, um, and it must have left the food, and the food had hidden away. And, um, of course, she then found the food, and um, obviously got it, so and there she is. It's my, uh, the giant huntsman. I can't remember what the Latin is for this uh, particular species. I will put it up in the um, in the video though so you can see um, what they are. It's going to bug me now all day that is. Ah. I could stop the video and look it up and then tell you but I'll, I'll just continue. Yeah she's uh, absolutely gorgeous and she's getting pretty big now as well. Um, you know she's like you know, probably about nearly like you know the length of my hand, not the palm. You know, like the whole, the whole of my hand, pretty much. So I look forward to getting her out in a, in a, you know, probably in a few days. I know she uh, she molted over a week ago. Anyway, she's had a meal. Uh, I fed her um, last week. So but yeah. She's gorgeous. Let's see if I can get to focus a bit better. There we go. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful uh, spider. So yeah, I'll leave her to enjoy her meal anyway. Just got to give her a very quick uh, spray. Well, not her, an enclosure. And yeah, you can see how um, 
she's just awesome. If you don't have one of these guys, I'd highly recommend you get one. Uh, I think she cost me about two quid, three quid. And bearing in mind, she was the size of probably one of the segments on her legs. She was literally tiny, uh, probably about about that big. Tiny, tiny little thing when I had her. Not even a year, and she's now massive. So, yeah, worth looking into. Okay then, I'm going to put the lid back on her, although she doesn't come out anyway, she, I've told her before she's kind of territorial in a sense and she won't, uh, she'll never just come out of the enclosure, uh, sometimes she might come out onto the side but then she'll just go back in anyway so, okay then, and finally, this is my Stetoma, the false widow, the, the killer spider of the UK. I told you I rehoused it recently. You can see how I've got it. I'm gonna you can just see the web. I don't know if you've ever seen a web from this uh, species. It's really really tough. Yeah. Literally like string. I'm gonna tilt this back. Hmm. Give me a second. Okay okay then. There we go. This is my widow. So yeah, she's getting uh, pretty big now, as you can see from when I had her. I don't know if you can see the web that's uh, kind of fluttering around. She's literally webbing me up. She just got caught in her own web, bless her. So here we go. You can see she's just doing some webbing. She's actually webbing my fingers up. Okay, let's put her back. Of course, she's not too bothered about it. <laughs> the web's going to get my nose. <laughs> there we go. Set the timer. The uh, killer of England that the media love reporting on. She's big female. Come on then. Let's see if I can get her to go back on her own. There we go. Back in her little in a nest. You can see the silk a lot better now. It's really, really strong silk. So there we go, Stedotoma. Absolutely gorgeous female. And this is the killer that the papers write about and everything and you can see they're just not dangerous at all. Okay then, well, I'm going to put the lid back on her. She doesn't need spraying, I don't think. I will give her a light spray, actually. Um, I don't like to, you know, I like to try and keep it fairly dry. Um, so yeah, that's a look at her. Um, what I'm going to do now is... Oh, shit. Okay, I've got two more spiders to look at. <laughs> I nearly forgot about them. So uh, yeah, I'm going to um, put these away and get the next ones ready. Okay then, I don't know how I nearly forgot about these spiders because I spend more time with these than any other um, species I have pretty much at the moment. So uh, this is my adult female, Nandu Crematus. Um, she's absolutely gorgeous spider, as you can see. Um, kind of the kind of greyish carapace, black and white striped legs, and of course the bright red abdomen. Just a gorgeous. Um, species. 
and um, obviously I do have my mail who is just here and uh, my mail's awesome although he's a little bit odd <laughs> I'll walk around here's the mail and uh, he's um, he's awesome I think uh, he wants to breed again he done a, another sperm web up there I did try and pay him up the other week but uh, he went in and then ended up just coming out again he didn't seem to be you know able to do it but uh, got something on his legs oops careful just gonna take that off here didn't mean to start with you uh, but yeah you can see there where his ate his leg uh, someone said they saw it in one of the corners and I've checked this enclosure there is no leg <laughs> he's just eating it so uh, but no you can see it's not bothering him at all and he's not got much longer left I don't think which is uh, it's a real shame but uh, you know these mature males really you know they live life to the full <laughs> especially this one I think I've paired him up more times than any other um, spider that I've bred you know even like my OBTs and you know stuff so uh, but yeah they're gorgeous uh, he's really docile um, you know I can handle him and He's, just, he's never given me any trouble at all. Um, in fact, he's one of my most loved tarantulas in a sense. I know a lot of people don't get attached to them, and I don't get attached to most of mine, but uh, him, he's pretty awesome. This one, not so much. She's pretty um, aggressive. Uh, if I can just show you, um, I'm sure I can get her to just do a little um, threat posture. So, um, and obviously, you can see how much bigger she looks like that. She's, um, I mean, I didn't hurt her then. I literally just, just touched her leg, just slightly. And that was all that she needed to, um, to grow up like that. Um, hmm. And now she's in a mood. So, yeah, I mean, as you can see, they vary. Uh, I think they are normally quite defensive anyway. Um, Said so she's fine. It's only if you just look at her funny, or if you touch her, or if you mess with anything in the enclosure that she kind of rears up like that. But um, they're completely different. You can see that she's not so happy, and um, will rear up and will slap the ground and things like that. The male is just awesome. It's obviously just a female thing. No offence to the ladies out there, um, but yeah, she's absolutely beautiful and uh, hopefully she's grabbing as well so I'll have some little baby end cremators which is pretty awesome so I'm gonna uh, leave these guys alone now leave her to set her back down and you know resume doing whatever it was that she was doing and, um, and then I'm gonna carry on the tour I've got one more spider left to show you which you're probably wondering why I didn't put her first but I thought I'd save the best or last so without further ado let's look at my absolute favorite tea okay then everyone so uh, this is the final tea in my collection that i'm going to be showing you and um if you don't know who she is if you're a new subscriber or you know if you just haven't seen any videos of her recently which i haven't done many um this is zelda my adult female lassiadora power high banner and um she is my absolute favourite tarantula. Um, I don't get attached to spiders. Um, you know, if, if you keep them, you know they, yeah, you know, they come and go quite quick. You know, they don't live that long, especially you know males. But um, she is my absolute favourite tarantula. Um, I will probably put a picture of her at the very beginning. Um, you know, just so you can see what she, uh, you know, what she looks like. Um, so uh, at least you will be able to see her, you know, in light. Um, but yeah, the reason that she's so uh, special to me is when I first started collecting tarantulas, um, I used to buy them from sort of uh, adult, pretty much, or, you know, sort of larger juvenile um, stages. I never bought them as slings because, you know, I just didn't want to risk it kind of thing. And um, it will be three years ago. Uh, on the 7th of February, I had her um, three years ago. Um, I bought her as a tiny little sling and her molt is that she, uh, this, this was her second molt in my care and she was probably about six 
maybe seven millimeters when I had her. She was tiny, and now she is the largest spider in my collection. Um, she's just huge. She really is, and um, yeah, she's just that. Everyone's got that one special spider. I think that they've had the longest or that they value the most. That's the most sentimental to them, and um, she is mine. Even though she's actually the single cheapest spider I've ever bought in my life. I think I paid about a pound for her um, as a tiny sling and three years later I've got this absolutely gorgeous giant um, so uh, yeah she's just awesome and uh, you can see that I do kind of spoil her a little bit if you look at the other enclosures um, that I keep my other spiders in and then you look at hers um, you'll see that really I do kind of spoil her uh, this enclosure is um, I think it's just over four foot um, so it's a really big enclosure. This is like it was actually kept originally to keep um, a snake in, a massive snake um, that my cousin had, and he gave it me. And um, yeah, it's like huge. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I mean, I've got you know a nice big deep water dish, plenty of substrate, uh, artificial plants all the way along the back. I've got a hide. There's a hide um, down here. Um, there's a uh, cork tube there. Another hide back there. You know, the main hide up here which she actually doesn't use and that's the good thing about this species is um, they don't really hide away like most spiders she will literally be out either here on this silk mat down here as you can see or she'll be up there on that silk mat I presume you can probably see it um, yeah these make fantastic display tarantulas and I will put some annotations around so if you'd like to see some awesome footage of her um, I'll put annotations all over the place and you can uh, you know check them out and uh, yeah like I said I mean if you've got a chance to buy one of these um, I mean I think adult, adults might cost a little bit more but uh, if you can get them as a sling you know they really do grow fast uh, I think I got I, I got her to about six inches uh, within the first year like in a year's time and at three years now she's um, I mean she hasn't molted now for a year but um, I think with her abdomen I don't you won't be able to see it but her abdomen has gone very dark and she's either going to molt again or she's going to do an egg sac because obviously I paired her up and uh, this species have uh, huge egg sacs uh, up to sort of you know two thousand two and a half thousand eggs so um that's why they're so cheap because they have that many babies but they're a fantastic spider and I can't recommend them highly enough um, I mean I'm not going to get about to handle her or anything like that just because of uh, like I said either it's mortal or an egg sack I'm not going to disturb her so um, yeah that's this video guys I hope you've enjoyed um, this video I hope you've enjoyed having a look at you know everything that I have all of my spiders and obviously the other part where I covered my scorpions uh, mantis and geckos and things and um yeah, I'd like to just thank um, everyone who's been watching these. I've enjoyed looking at everything I've got. I know it's been really, really long, but I thought I'd, you know, just do it in one. Um, and, yeah, uh, this was a request by a YouTuber. Again, I can't remember what your name is. I will put um, an annotation up so you can check out their channel. And, uh, as always, if you have any requests that you would like me to do, feel free to comment uh, below. And, um, obviously, don't forget to uh, subscribe and like. Um, you know it's nice to know that people support the effort I put into these videos um, this video has taken me just under four days of filming on and off waiting for teas to come out and you know from being in their hides and some teas I weren't able to get footage of but um, it's anything it's a lot of waiting around and filming and editing and stuff like that so hopefully you'll appreciate the time and effort that I put into this video and um, yeah if you'd like to another place to contact me is on my Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash Daniel Tarantula Dan Oakley and I will put an annotation up so you can check that out as well and yeah thank you very much for everyone um, for watching I hope you like my videos and um, yeah take care of yourselves anything you'd like to see comment below and uh, with that I will let you go and enjoy your day take care of yourselves and I will see you all very very soon